Yes! There it is. SNS Bucktails. Woo! All right. Let's go unbox this. I just got my supply of SNS John Skinner swing hook bucktails. These are all our, I got fluke bucktails, I got um, blackfish jigs, the white chin records from, white chin wreckers from SNS as well in here somewhere. So I figured what we do is a little unboxing. Let's check it out. First box. This one feels lighter. Let's see. So Stan from SNS has uh, been really good to us, and uh, we, you know, we love his product. I use it a lot on the show, and I also use it um, on my charter boats. Wow! Look at this. Nice. Look at that. Woohoo! That is sweet. Thank you very much, Stanley. That's awesome. SNS Bucktails. Nice. Look at this. Nice sweatshirt. Look at that thing. Wow. Very nice. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, huh? Yes, sir. Look at that. Awesome. Well, we'll put that to good use. Love my hoodies. It's like Christmas, you know what I mean? All right, let's get into, I don't know what's in what box, but let's get in. These are heavy. So this isn't an apparel. This is Lewis. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh I see some goodies in here now. Pink Shine. So this is a pack of, these are all four ounce pink shine, SNS swing hook bucktails. Look at that, huh? You know, there's a lot of things I like about these bucktails. Um, one is, is that it's, they're locally made, which is always nice. Uh, Stan's a great guy and um, makes a wonderful product. And, you know, that's, that's one thing. Um, but obviously is it, there's a lot more to uh, a lure, um, and that's the components. You know, the ties are always awesome. SNS has the most consistent tie, way more so than than you know any of those other brands that are out there, the big mass-produced brands. Um, not to say that there's anything wrong with those, but you know, this is this is what we like. It's got they have great hooks. The bucktail's always consistent. The color's always consistent. Um, you know, the heads hold up really well. Uh, like I said, the tie is really good. Good good hooks that, you know, uh, which is nice too because you can change them out. They're a siwash hook. Um, you know, and, and so the components is uh, one really important piece of it. And the other is confidence. You know, we have a lot of confidence in the SNS bucktails. Um, you know, this is a, a, a bucktail that was designed by, by John Skinner. And you know what? If it's good enough for him, it's good enough for us, right? So, anyway, we got a bunch. Let's see what else is in here. We got a bunch of pink shine. What's this? Ooh, glow. Here's some three ounce glow. Now, I have to be honest. <clears throat> last year, and you can actually go back and see it. I think in our last fluke video, um, last year. And the year before, I've never thrown a lot of glow. I mean, I've thrown glow, you know, gulp. I've had some different, um, you know, glow teasers. <clears throat> but I was never, never big on glow. And we went out. It was the last fluke trip of the year. And Joe, our buddy Joe, not Joey, but Joe, uh, he was throwing glow. We were throwing, you know, other colors. And it was overcast. It was very kind of dark out. It was, you know... Uh, during the day, but it was real dark. The water was dark and he was just mopping the floor with us and he was using glow and We'll do another video. Maybe we we'll, where we'll um, Talk more about the glow and different. There's a lot of other baits that have glow in them and, and we'll do some videos on that, but uh, This year I've really decided that I'm going to spend uh, more time utilizing uh, this color because 
when it's dark and you're down there 60, 80, 100 feet, that glow shows up a lot better than anything else. Um, maybe black would show up uh, to them, but a lot of, again, that's part of the confidence thing too. So we really armed ourselves with some glow. Well, let's see what else. I know Stan said he was going to throw in some cool new stuff. Well, look at this. Wow, these are cool, huh? Look at this. Hey, Reuben. Cat's calling the furniture. Reuben. Hey. hey. You better run. Anyway, let's 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 uh let's open one of these up. This looks cool. I'll have to find out. I'll have to find out, Stan, what you're calling this, so I apologize for not being able to give anybody the name of this off the top of my head, but wow, that's nice, huh? Look at that. Looks like it has some glow, glow paint. That is nice looking. Look at that head. It's got a nice, uh, nice shape to it. Roll right across the bottom well. That looks good. Nice big hook. Yep. Yep, I like this. I like the look of that. That's going to catch some fish. I want to say... I want to say this is probably close to six ounces. Yeah, it's up there. Probably five, maybe. I'll have to see. But that looks really cool. They gave us some pink shine ones also. Look at this. Wow. That's cool looking. You know, it just it's just really consistent, really nice, you know, and there's not like a ton of powder coat, you know? You know, a lot of times when you get bucktails and stuff, they have so much powder coat, it's almost like bubbled off. Um, you know, and S&S's are always very, uh, you know, um, very consistent. That's nice, huh? Wow. I like that a lot. That is cool. A lot of movement. Yep. Oh, yeah. Very nice. All right. Let's see what's in these other boxes. Let us see box number three. All right. What we have in here. Oh, I see. Look at this. White chin wreckers for blackfish. Look at these. <clears throat> Some one ounce. Nice. Yo, I mean, look at, again, you can see it. You know, look at the look at the quality. Everything's so consistent. The powder coat's consistent. Um, it's no secret if you go back and look at our blackfish videos from the last couple years. I'm a huge fan of the white chin wreckers. Um, I really like them. Ruben, stop clawing the furniture. Go back and you'll see some of our videos. I'm a huge fan of the white chin wreckers. Um, for a couple reasons. <clears throat> One is I like the shape of the head, right? When you send it, it gets down, um, down to the bottom uh, really fast. And we throw it on a really light line. I like the shape of the head because it's flat. It sits there nice. And I think one of the things I really like about this particular blackfish jig is the hook. Um, it's a thin wire hook and it's super sharp. Um, they will dull, you know, uh, just like any uh, thin wire hook. You're beating them in the rocks. Um, you know, they'll dull after a few trips, but, um, I can tell you this, a lot of the other blackfish jigs that are out there have a really thick gauge hook on them, a real thick wire. And, and they're kind of short. Um, when you put half a green crab on here or anything like on, on the other ones, you know, you don't have a lot of, of uh, hook bite, hook gap. With the white chin wreckers, there's uh, a little bit longer length in the hook shank. So even when you put half a crab on here, uh, you still have some gap in between the, the jig head itself and the hook. Um, and I just really find that I hook a lot more fish uh, with this thinner wire on the white chin wrecker than I do anything else. And, and I've tried a lot of them. Um, you know, it's not, uh, again, not uh, downgrading anybody else's product, but I, uh, you know, I take customers out and friends and we want to go catch a bunch of fish. 
Um, you know, I use what's best for me, and it's definitely been the white chin wreckers for blackfish. So, um, yeah, this is cool. So I got a nice supply for this uh, upcoming blackfish spring season. Um, this is called Greeny, and I forgot what he calls this one. Um, I've got a specific name for it, and I probably should have known that. But uh, these two colors here we use the most of. And it's really easy, too. You know, when I take people out on the charter trips that have never blackfished before, I give them a nice light-action spinning rod, uh, some, you know, 20-pound um, test braid on a, you know, 20, 25-pound test leader, and just go to town. You know, you can feel the bites a lot better uh, than, than the big rig, you know, blackfish rig. Um, you know, so, you no, know, but you're going to get caught up in the rocks just like everything else once in a while, especially when you're blackfish, uh, blackfish fishing. Um... But the jig heads, these jig heads are awesome. So, yeah. So this is it. That's awesome. <clears throat> All right. So we got a good, good supply of these. We'll get these nice and organized. We'll do another video about those. What else we got in here? Some more pink shine. We go through a lot of pink shine. Here's some four ounce. All right. Let's see what's in the next box. All right, box number four. What do we got in here? Ooh, be real careful when you open with a knife, JT. Look at that, what a nice hat. Wow, tell you Stan. Stan Gola down there at SNS. he's got some really nice stuff. You know, he cares, what a nice light hat. Wow, that's awesome. Very cool, with the fluke on it, SNS Bucktails. Right on, here we go. All right, I'll put that in there. Let's see, what do we got here? Ooh, chartreuse glow. How cool is that, huh? Four ounce swing hook bucktail again. This is the chartreuse glow color. And we've got, uh, let's see what's in here, more glow. These are rattle and swing. That's also the other thing I forgot to mention. All of these, uh, we, you know, we call them, you know, the, the John Skinner uh, swing hook bucktails, but it's really rattle and swing. And in here, let's see if you can... Can you hear that? There's a rattle in here. There's a brass rattle that's inside the head. It makes a lot of noise. And you know, um, I definitely think on those, you know, darker days, on the days where the water's a little bit, a little bit uh, dingier, uh, the rattle definitely helps. So yeah, it's another thing that's in there. Another component of, uh, of uh, this really good product. All right, let's see what's in the next one. And what do we got here? Box number five. All right. Can you tell what one of our favorite colors is? <laughs> More pink shine. Some different sizes. These are some threes. Here's some fives. You gotta have a good assortment. Good assortment, lots of different sizes, lots of different colors. You know, we'll have like, uh, you know, four, five, six rods rigged up with different, uh, you know, if, we, if we're catching them really good on pink shine and that's the hot color for a particular week or two, we'll have a, a rod with a four, a rod with a five, a rod with a six, maybe a rod with a three ounce and they'll all have pink shine ready to go. Um, so that's why we, uh, you know, like to have a lot of the same colors in different sizes. Um, so anyway, let's open up the next box. Box number six. What do we got? Oh. Look at that. I told you this glow thing, you know? I mean, like I said, <clears throat> um, you know, and I also, I want to make sure that everybody knows, you know, Stan was really, uh, really helped us out. But a lot of this I bought for um, my charter boats. You know, um, we go through it. And, and the thing is about, it, you don't need to have this many. I don't want to um, give anybody that impression. I'm sure Stan would like for everybody to to buy this this many from SNS, but uh, anyway, uh, um, the big the other reason that we buy so many is because we're using really light line comparatively speaking. So a lot of times we're using you know 15, 17, 20 pound sunline shooter fluorocarbon leaders with with all these, even all the way up to the six, and. You know, we're really, really trying to stay in the rocks. And if you're using really light line, 
and you're staying in the type of structure that you should be staying in when it comes to finding finding big fluke, um, you know, you're going to lose baits. And we lose a lot of them. Uh, last year, I, I bought a whole bunch. I think I bought right around 450, 500 bucktails. And we lost the majority of them. Um, went through a lot of fours, went through a lot of fives. But, you know, that's to be expected. None of us like losing baits, especially stuff that somebody's taking this much time to to make by hand. Um, but if you're going to catch a lot of fish and you're going to catch big ones, you got to be fishing around the uh, the nastiest bottom you can find. And, um, you know, you're inevitably going to lose some. So you just have to accept that. You know, um, like I said, nobody likes losing a an expensive bucktail or any lure for that matter. But... The guys who aren't worried about uh, losing a lure or two are going to usually catch more fish than everybody else. So that's the reason we have so many, other than the fact that we take a lot of people out for charters. So these are all glow. Like I told you, glow glow this year is going to be a big deal. It really is. So I'm excited about this. We have one more box. Let's see what's in it. Okay, the final box. Box number seven from s, &S Bucktails. Let's see what's in here. Right. What do we got? Oh, look at all that. Glow, glow, glow. We got more glow. Four ounce glow. We've got some more pink shine. Now we also have a lot of, I have a lot of colors left over from last year. I've got a bunch of white. I've got blue fuse, which is a nice color. There's another color on there that I, on, um, that s, s makes. It's called Wonder Bread. That looks awesome. Um, but anyway, we stuck with, uh, Stuck with the, uh, you know, your more standard colors here. Uh, pink shine. We've got some five ounce. We didn't use a lot of six ounce last year. Just didn't have the the conditions. So I've got a, had a lot of six ounce left. I still have a, a bunch of six ounce downstairs in the shop. But uh, so replacing a lot of fours and a lot of fives this year. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's it. So that is the 2020. What year is this? 2022 supply of SNS fluke bucktails and we got some really cool new products that we're going to look at that Stan was nice enough to uh to send with this batch and uh then we'll also talk a little bit more about those blackfish jigs from SNS but this is it pretty exciting now we've got to go through inventory catalog uh you know for each boat so we know what we have and we got to go put all this stuff away nicely my biggest suggestion if you're going to keep them in the bags, which I like to do, put them in one big Ziploc bag or another Ziploc bag. What you really want to do is protect them from water. Don't let water get, get on any of this. Keep them nice and dry. Uh, put them in a safe place. Double bag them up. I even uh, have a, a bunch of them that I vacuum sealed just, just to make sure no water ever gets in them. Because if you leave them out like this, water will get through these bags. Uh, even though they're, they're Ziploc, water will still get through them and you can... Um, you can ruin them real quick. So, all right. Thanks again for watching. SNS.